hi guys and everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in a very much welcome just for those who are coming my name is pilile papra thank you thank you so much for tuning in to pilile papra's entertainment you're very much welcome you guys kindly subscribe if you haven't done so like the video share the video as well don't forget to watch those ads as they pop up during the video so yeah you guys will all understand that yesterday it was a uh, mama zanel and bogazi's memorial service uh, there are stories stories there are about that memorial service you guys i think i missed this yesterday now we're talking mona's bid farewell to mama zanel and bokazi by kama dailegas moja and yeah they have a story for us you guys which are they get that to pay their respects to the broadcaster businesswoman author and mother to the gospel music fraternity uzanel mbokazi Kambule. her memorial service was held at the sapc offices in Deben. Uh, so now we talk a, a praying warrior therefore mama you guys the case that any government said they lost a valuable member of the province we have really lost a treasure in the industry a friend and the founder of the crown gospel awards she was different from many people in the industry she never left a place without praying she was a praying warrior a tech winning mayor Usaru Kaba was saying that besides being a radio broadcaster she was a mother and was loved by many in KwaZulu Natal Umazet left as a at a bad time when we needed people to stand firm for the Christian religion. KZN is where a lot of debt and chaos is happening. Her sister now, Ukiti Mbogazi Zulu, said she was in pain and believes she is now resting. She would cry, feeling sorry for me. Let us allow her to rest. You know, Zanele was always dressed impeccable. She had a great sense of humor and she loved family. We loved her um, until the end. Her grandchildren tearfully shared their memories and said life will be very tough without her. We are grateful that she taught us prayer because that is all we have right now in this time of need. Yeah, shame in you guys. The family members said Uzanil was different <clears throat> from others. She loved herself and was a lady. Uh, even when you offered her something, she took her time and would look at it first and decide if it was something she wanted. She loved praying and joined the church choir early in life, away Harris said. In the 1980s, she joined another choir and became a leader at a very young age. She said Mam Zanel was always at the forefront of her friends. Because of her intelligence, she was able to start Crown Gospel Awards. She always shared her gift with others. Zanel was loving, smart, and at a very young age. She loved her family and would drop anything to be with her loved ones in time. In time of need, you guys, as they shared a story lapana, uh, for us about uh, Mama Zanel Mbokazi's memorial service. <clears throat> May her soul rest in peace, you guys. She, man. Um, and also, you guys, uh, there was, I think, uh, um, remember, Oma Mage e Ukonichiwume, something like that. You guys remember, we lost these two queens. So let us just jump straight to Mama Konichiwume's, um uh, funeral, you guys. Remember, it was Mama Zanel Mbogazi's memorial service. And Mama Konichume's uh, funeral service as her mem memorial was um, yesterday, which is Thursday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday, you guys? She made this beautiful queen's rest in peace. We're going to make uh, this video uh, um, one as uh, we talk about these two beautiful mummies who just passed away. Now here, about Mama Konichume, her colleagues, friends, and family said their final goodbyes as award-winning actress Koni uh, Mama Konichume uh, was laid to rest today. The service leading to her funeral, uh, uh, to her burial, took place at the Osis Life uh, ch Family Church in Deviton, Nasekuru Lane. Mom Connie passed away last Monday after a short illness. She is leaving behind her children. Uitumeleng Chiwume, Unongelo Chiwume, Nonotando Mabuza, Tabisile Mabuza, and grandchildren. There are pictures there, you guys, uh, people gathered uh, at her funeral service. The Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Ukechon Mackenzie, um, <clears throat> the Premier, Upanyazali Sufi, NC Secretary General of Iglem Balula, other politicians and other entertainment personalities gathered to pay their last respects to an icon who contributed to the South African film industry for over 30 years. Mam Kwanis Nis Usindi Swechume said that, the source of her success was always being true to herself. Firstly, Mama understood that umuntu umuntu ngabantu. Uh, she understood that it was important to treat a person the way she would have loved to be treated. She understood that you cannot get um, 
before giving in that opened a magnetic portal uh, for her receiving. Now, our mother understood the concept that as much as the government is responsible for its citizens, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. She put South Africa on the map through Black Panther. Thirdly, she understood that self-love meant self-control, investing in one's development and being aware of one's voice and how it impacts other people's uh, lives. That is Usindi Siwe. So yeah, you guys, we talk on her screen. Um, daughter on the production, Komoro Katleho Danki, said Umam Koni took the role of Mam Sonto and tore it up. As the youth would say, you brought your heart and soul to eat every day, going home every day, and making sure you come back the next day fully prepared. Regardless of your advanced age and responsibilities at home, regardless of being passionate about your role at work, you were also as passionate as uh, being a mom, friend, and a neighbor. So, yeah, man, you guys, now, oh my word, all that was required from you as a mom, that is, you were there for it, not a celebrity, not the Black Panther actress, but a mom. You made every single one of us uh, um, on set free laughed. Now, you will, we will miss uh, your national sense of regal confidence, your scrutinizing eye of for detail. Your encouragement when your moral is low, your no, uh, no, no, your no nonsense approach, your acid uh, and your ungovernable, naughty sense of humor that often came as a surprise. So yeah, I mean you guys could talk a um, the northern uh, no Nockham Park community where she resided described her as a people's person. Okon was a true leader. She put together a team of Swazi South Africans and Malawians to demonstrate that the people could work together regardless of origin, uh, parentage, or heritage. She was proudly a so, so Walian, okay, South African Malawian, a term she coined due to her South African and Malawian heritage from her parents. Something that I didn't know, you guys. So Umama was South African Malawian, which is good, you guys. Yeah, I mean, you guys, so uh, these two mummies, you guys, Mama Zanele passed away, Mama Konichume passed away. Kumanje kupizi people ba matasa tasa kuzanywa kwenye kubwa kwa umamu kuni chume kwa memorial service kama mama zani limpokazi and I guess I think I hate to go to mama zani limpokazi will be laid to rest as well na yuksasa on a Saturday as this is Friday something like that may their souls rest in peace you guys it's so sad man it's so sad South Africa has lost these two two beautiful hardworking loving and mummies that we grew up watching on our TVs in Tekanjaris. Kuda siwa buko mama you guys. Umamu kwa nichi ume. No mamu za nele mpokazi. So may their souls rest in peace. Nkulu nkulu pili, nkulu nkulu tatile. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like it, subscribe, share. Until you meet again on my next upload. Bye.